Ashley, what did you take away from from what we've seen and heard over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, again, I think the offense was like the biggest takeaway from for me. But if I have to, you know, go to the other side of the ball and think about the defense, I think something that was really noticeable to me, and again, with the caveat that we were missing like the biggest name on the defense in these two practices we got to see with Miles Garrett not being there at those ones. Um, it's just like there is more it feels like movement, less designated roles on this defense. And, you know, I know, Dan, yesterday you caught Obo Okoronkwo standing up and playing like a linebacker at certain points. We talked last week a lot about the safeties and Juan Thornhill and Grant Delpit, and they're not really being this true assigned free versus strong safety. Um, And those guys changing up who was closer to the line of scrimmage and who was back for this Um, And then just like the corners, the slot corner stuff, which we've been talking about for weeks. Like, I just feel like, again, I know Mary Kay's brought up the fact that, hey, maybe sometimes you're going to have three to four edge rushers in the game at a time in this system if those are your best players, right? And you're going to want them to go and get after the quarterback. So I just think all of that stuff with, you know, I, I don't know if I like the term positionless because I don't know if it's quite that, but it's just like guys being able to use their versatility a bit more to me, it feels like is like my biggest takeaway. One of my biggest takeaways from the defensive side of the ball. So Mary Kay, I feel like we've been talking about versatility and three safeties and all these linemen for years, and it's just never quite materialized the way we thought it would. And then we show up to these OTAs and we're seeing things like, you know, like Ashley mentioned, Oboe kind of standing up and he was playing linebacker during seven on sevens. And uh, I mean, you just put up a post about what Jim Schwartz was saying about how he was going to use his D lineman, how he was going to use his safeties. And, you know, we saw Denzel Ward and Juan Thornhill both playing in the slot at the same time uh, on Wednesday. So it feels like, you know, we, we were used to talk about it every single year and then it just sort of never happened and now here we are in OTAs and we're already starting to see what this could look like, even without, you know, Miles Garrett and, uh, you know, Dalvin Tomlinson hasn't been in there a lot. And I, I think he was not there yesterday. I can't remember. Um, so you were, we're starting to, see, we, we kind of have an idea of what this looks like, even though Jim Schwartz was kind of pumping the brakes on, on what this defense looks like right now, at least, and kind of what he's able to do is, as they sort sort of install this system. Well, he, absolutely gave what I described as a peek into his playbook uh, yesterday. We don't really know him very well as a defensive coordinator yet, but he, he outlined some things and that's what I wrote about in the post that I just put up, how he is going to use his defensive linemen, how he is going to use those safeties. And he's not shy about giving away those state secrets because it's about execution. And he knows that that's what it's all about. So he can, tell us some of the things that are, that are going to happen. One of those things are, and we've talked about this a little bit, but one of the things are that he will use five down linemen a fair amount. We haven't seen it yet here, uh, but we're going to start to see it in training camp. Uh, and, and he will get the best players out there on the field at all times. That's why you're going to see Oboe at times playing linebacker because, uh, you know, if you've got five other good defensive linemen to put right up front, uh, then, you know, Obo might be a linebacker rushing from, you know, an, an OLB standpoint. So, um, so that's one of the things that's going to happen. And when you look up there at that defensive line, there will be times when Zadarius Smith is on the inside or Miles Garrett is on the inside or Dalvin Tomlinson is on the outside or Obo is back at the next level or whatever the case may be. So that's one of the things that we know he has told us verbally that that is going to happen. So you will be watching for that. Um, And then the other thing that he was willing to say, and again, you know, I've I've been kind of writing this for a while, is that they're going to play a lot of three safeties. They're going to play a lot of three safety looks because you need, uh, with so many three wides, four wides, and now tight ends that are really actually just like, big receivers, you need guys that can handle that and that can cover those guys. Backs coming out of the backfield, tight ends, and, you know, that are really more like receivers and whatnot. So they will be playing a lot of more of those three safety looks and they have the horses to do it. They they can do this. You can